In today's video, I'll show you how I use my external touchscreen monitor with OneNote. I'm always looking for ways to use OneNote where I can seamlessly switch between typing and annotating. I find typing notes much easier, but when it comes to marking up documents or making annotations, it's much more intuitive to work directly on the screen, whether with a pen like this or even with my fingers. If you have something like a Surface tablet, then you're all set, but I don't have one, so I've been experimenting with different things like using a pen tablet and even an iPad Pro along with the desktop version of OneNote. And you can check those videos out up here and in the description below. I recently got an external touchscreen monitor um, courtesy of a vendor named AndySign, and I've been playing around to discover practical use for it. And what I found was that it works remarkably well with OneNote. Just like any other monitor, it offers an additional display, so I can pretty much keep my OneNote on this screen all the time. And because it's touchscreen, I can use the drawing tools just as if I was on a tablet PC. So if I want to review and mark up a document, I'll insert it as a printout. We'll go to Insert and choose File Printout and select the appropriate document. I always make it a habit to set the picture as background if I know if I'm going to mark it up. This way, I don't accidentally move the document around and cause all of the markup to be out of place. Now I can easily zoom into a section, use a highlighter, circle things with a pen, draw shapes, and I can easily switch between drawing and panning around the document by toggling this button on or off. And that's the other thing about the touchscreen. It's so intuitive to move around OneNote's infinite canvas using my fingers. As many of the OneNote users have experienced, although you can scroll up and down and even zoom in and out using the mouse scroll wheel, you can't easily go left and right unless you have a special mouse with a horizontal scroll. With the touchscreen, it feels so natural to move around the canvas quickly, and it's also very responsive. The monitor that I'm using is a 15.6 inch Ymaxit multi-touch portable monitor. I'll put the model number in the description below. Again, a company named AndySign sent this to me for free in exchange for a review, so I'm gonna spend a moment sharing my thoughts on this monitor. The monitor has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and a full HD 1080p resolution. I think this is perfectly fine for working on documents and watching videos. Along with the monitor, you get this magnetic cover, a DC power adapter, USB-C to USB-C cable, a USB-C to USB-A cable, and an HDMI to mini HDMI cable and it has a VESA mount in the back. On the monitor, it has two USB-C input ports and one mini HDMI port. It even has a micro USB port that you can use with an OTG adapter to connect to things like a keyboard directly to the monitor. Something like this would be useful if you're using this monitor with a smartphone. The monitor has what feels like metal construction. It feels very solid. The downside is that it is a bit heavy, coming in at almost 900 grams, which is just under 2 pounds. And that's without the cover. With the cover, it's 1,273 grams, which is 2 pounds and 13 ounces. This is not a monitor that I carry around. But it's great for if I want to move around in my house for a change in scenery. And the large screen size at 15.6 inches makes it a really nice companion for my laptop which has a smaller 14 inch display. The cover has a magnet that attaches easily to the back of the monitor and the ridges on the cover allow for different viewing angles. I never thought I'd need a touchscreen monitor, but having used it for a few days now, I find it super useful. It's like having a large iPad. From interfacing with media players like YouTube and Spotify to viewing photos and documents, and of course, working with OneNote, this is a really fun and practical addition to my office setup. 
There's one thing that I want to call out with this monitor. If you are making a USB-C to USB-C connection, there's no problem. It's plug and play. But if your computer doesn't have a USB-C port, like my desktop PC, then you need to connect both the HDMI and the USB-A cables from your computer to the monitor's mini HDMI and USB-C ports. The HDMI cable will deliver the video signal and the USB cable will deliver the power and the touch signal. This was not clear to me in the manual, so I thought I could only use it as a non-touch display when connecting to a computer that didn't have a USB-C output, but I'm happy to report that that isn't the case. If you are using the second option with the two cables, make sure that the portable monitor is set up as the main display. You can do this in the Windows display settings. If you don't do this, your touchscreen signal will be applied to whatever monitor you have set up as the primary, and I was initially very confused at this. Anyway, because this monitor accepts HDMI signal, you can use it as a non-touchscreen display for any device that outputs HDMI signal, like this Nintendo Switch. Overall, I think this is a great monitor and it has taken up permanent space on my desk. The price is really reasonable as well, coming in at just under $200. If you are interested in this monitor, please use the affiliate link that I put in the description below. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.